on YouTube! Bruh, bruh. So, we are about to jump out of the sky. And everybody knows when you're about to jump out of the sky, you have to start your day off with green tea. Because green tea contains antioxidants that manifest in your head and then transcend the fear, um, acid and chemical compound and flush it down into your stomach and then you end up pooping it out. So by drinking the green tea, I won't be scared. And that's why I'm starting the day with green tea, right? True, 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 true. So I'm afraid that I'm not gonna have a good time skydiving because all I can think about is what happened between me and Ali last night. So Alex, I'm gonna tell you what happened and then you tell me your honest opinion, okay? Got him. Okay, and then I'm gonna mute out what I did to him so you guys don't hear it yet, but I'm gonna tell Alex. Okay, so now, without giving up what I just told you, because I'm not gonna put that part in, what is your reactions to that? Damn, you can't post that. Oh, uh, no? yeah, no, that's no, too no personal. Way. That's too much. You that's can't really? do that. Yeah, you, no. you would be mad if you were in his shoes. Yeah, it's, it's pushing it a little bit he really, too much. he really needed it. And you could tell he was willing to go the distance because he yeah. knew that was nothing to you. And then, like, thinking, like, really thinking that you did that, he would have been like, what? Are you kidding me? Not everybody's you. And he would have. I didn't even get to tell him it was a prank. I, he That's doesn't know right now? He might cry. He knows now because the vlog is up. Yeah. Damn. Oh, man. Man, you can see how much he needed it then. So you're saying don't post it? No, no, no post don't it. do it. Dang, I'm supposed to go that way. I got excited about your story. Uh, okay, guys. So yeah. they're telling me don't post it. Um. Well, I'm going to hit him up today. Yeah. I'm going to be the one to call him. And I'm gonna hit him up and I'm gonna be like, yo, can we talk about this and stuff? And you know, me and him have done some crazy stuff to people. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'll have to see where he's at with it. <laughs> They're telling me not to post it. I guess it's, we have to to be continued until I find out. In a little bit, I'll be falling out of this sky. I'll be your tandem guy. Get out of okay. here. Ready? No. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're about to hit. We're about to land. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I don't even want to be doing this right now. I've done this twice, and every time I do it, I'm just as scared. And when I land, you guys will see in this vlog, I'm like, oh my god, I want to do it again right now. And I love it, but I've never gotten over the fear of getting in the plane, going up, and then looking down, and then jumping out. It is one of the scariest things I've ever had to go through ever but it's one of the most fulfilling things ever because no feeling is like skydiving ever. You just gotta live life larger than most. Living life just a little larger than most. No, I never say I'm living larger than my brothers. I would never no, say that. Giving them the potential that they could live to. We live it larger than your fan base. Wow, why are you always gonna talk about my family? Brubras live at large. You're always talking about them. Brubras, we live at large, baby. If you guys are ever gonna go skydiving, the first thing that makes you sign is says, I understand skydiving may result in serious injury or death. So before you can even get in the plane, you have to sign your life away. If that is not scary, then... So I texted Ali about 30 minutes ago. And I got no reply. Alex. Yeah. I got no reply. I, I'm telling you, man, he's either taking a nap or he's probably crying so much that he can't see his phone screen. <laughs> Don't make fun of him. I'm not making Don't fun make of fun him. of my friend right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to defend him at all causes now. Don't make fun of my friend. I'm not making fun of your friend. I'm gonna jump out of the sky and I'm gonna scream, Ali, I I'm love you. Him. You know what sucks? Like I could have went with this with two routes. I could have went with it the route that I'm going now, being like hella sad and apologetic, or I could have been like, I got your ass, I pranked you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's just, it's, don't knock your coffee over, it's just scary. You should, uh, I'm telling you, you should do what I suggested. It'll be dope, the whole world will be like, Ooh, yeah. Nope. Uh, I'm squinting like crazy. All right, bro, bros, we're about to prep for the shoot right now. Wear the jumpsuits and all that good stuff. So next time you will see me, I will be up there. Actually, no. Next time you'll see me, I'll probably be getting dressed there. And then I'll be up there. Here we go. What up, everybody? My name is Dr. Tube. I'm going up in the sky right now to find out if green tea is green tea, if it's just green tea. So hopefully the precipitation that I gather will help me with my... <laughs> conclusion that I've been deliberating for for a couple of months. Let's get it.
Oh man, oh man. Not again. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Not again. Getting body by a singing nigga. Yeah, I learned the game from William Wesley, you can never check me Back to back for the niggas that didn't get the message Back to back like I'm on the cover of Lethal Weapon Back to back like I'm Jordan 96, 97 Ooh, very important and very pretentious When I look back, I might be mad that I get his attention Yeah, but it's weighing heavy on my conscience Yeah, and fuck you left with your options I wanna see my niggas go insane You won't make me step out of my fucking thing You won't make me buy bottles for Charlotte Pan Just landed, did that for my brothers who fight every single day, who go through something every single day, conquer your fields, jump out of the sky, you're feared, jump out of the sky, live life, be happy, be confident, you're a brother of life. <sighs> we survived! Yay! That was fun, guys. I got my certificate. We got our certificates. Mm, I got my certificate. I'm a professional now. Mm. We survived. It was super fun. Um, I hope you guys got to hear the message that I said for you guys in the sky and landing. I tried my best. I was yelling, green tea! I can't <laughs> see anything. And I didn't know what my instructor was telling me, so I was just like throwing up things. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I loved it, and time to go home. I come home, and somebody is in my apartment, and it is... Simi! I actually miss you guys, I really did. <laughs> oh gosh, so Simi's here. Oh, What's up, Sim? Oh. Um, she got a new hairdo. She got a new attitude. I don't attitude. know how I feel about it though. It's like real curly. What do you think? It's nice. Thank you. I feel like it's super curly. Hi. <laughs> we have to have a discussion later because a lot of you are telling me that I am raising them wrong. Yeah, they're like, Yusuf, when they jump on you, it's not because they love you or you're doing a good job. It's because they're not disciplined and you're doing a horrible job. And I was like, shit. You can tell them to stop and they should stop. Stop. Get down. Ten laps. Push-ups. Sit-ups. <laughs> stop. You listen. She does too when you really say her name. But I mean, like, I understand that, you know, I'm totally wrong with them, but I mean, these are my pups at the end of the day, yeah, I and them. I love how they are, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So, that's about that. Did you see how bad I messed up on the wristbands? Yeah, I did. I put them inside because I didn't want them to be out here because I knew you were going to get mad every time you saw them, so I put them in the room. So, are people going to get their shirts within three years? Uh, no, within, but okay, everybody needs to remember that th that was a pre-order. <laughs> That. As soon as I talked about I love my dogs, I love how they are, there's P right here. So, okay, so how do I hold this? Hold this, hold this, hold this. How do I handle the yeah, tripod? Tri tri how do I handle this situation? Because she's young, so I don't want to hit her. So, muffin, that, no, smell it. Hey, that was totally unacceptable. We are not happy with you. You are going to jail. You do not get to run around and go. You do not get to eat. You do not get to collect $200. Sit there and cry. She will not survive prison. What's up? Y'all said I can't be mean. What's up? Shit, man. That was my favorite blanket. So me and Simi just got a workout in. 
We did. She made me go to the gym. And she told me I'm not looking too bad. Okay. Despite popular belief, I'm not looking like I looked at the day 90 finish, but you know, I'm looking healthy, I'm looking happy, so that's all that matters. But now, Simi's mom, hold this. Yes. Tripod, tripod. Tripod. Simi's mom brought me home some, some food. Sim, explain to them what this is and show them. Uh, this is a naan. It's stuffed naan, so it has chicken and lamb and vegetables and stuff in it. Like it? Do you like it? <laughs> and that that's smack. Thank you. And that's chicken curry, so just not in curry. This is home cooked, guys. It is. My dad literally made that. Normally, we have our cooks make everything at the restaurant, but my dad made that for us. Yeah, I gotta realize I don't get home cooked meals anymore. Enjoy. And this is home cooked, and it feels like home. And you can taste the love when you're eating it. By the way, Middle Easterners eat with their hands. We do too. So we go like this. So some of y'all might think it's nasty, but this is how we eat, so. And if y'all think this is a cheat meal, y'all crazy. Because a meal made from home with love is never a cheat. Were you like always skinny when you were home? As a blessing. No. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. Right? Me too. Yeah. I was like always super skinny when I was home and I was always eating food like this. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Here it's like a struggle. <laughs> You don't know me, I don't know me, he doesn't know me, she doesn't know me, but trust me, you will know me. Welcome to FoosyTube! I want to go from a nobody, like the nobody I am today, because I don't know who I am, I'm sure you don't know who I am, to a somebody, you know, so like like, like a Timothy De La Ghetto, or, or a Fahim Anwar, or a Kingsley. Thank you for giving me the Best Actor Award. Because when you think of performance in theater arts, you think of a very broad spectrum these days. Our actors are performing on stage, they're performing in films, they're performing in television, they're performing in voiceover, they're performing on the internet. And this award goes to a young man who has worked very hard, who has built an internet career while he was here, and in many ways has made me very proud and is the love of my life. So, Yusuf Aaron. summer to pursue my career in acting but I promised my mom I would graduate from college so here I am today actually doing it. I love you guys. Now the only question I have to worry about is You said that you want to get married. There's something good to do in your classroom. So I got a letter from her public in the audience right now. And I want to shout out Amy Glazer who when I made my first YouTube video told me it was going to be the worst decision of my life. But after I made it onto the Ellen Show in the newspaper, she you know uses me as an example to all her students and says that if you want to make it in this industry, you gotta find your own way and your own avenue. And I love all these teachers who put up with all my antics and traveling. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I work so hard. Like I know my mom says I don't work in school because I don't try in school. I don't try at all. But I have never, ever worked as hard as I did for this through everything there was so much that just you know how good it feels when you achieve a goal when you went through every single obstacle possible no matter what it was when you have people slandering your name when you got people cussing you out when you got people wanting to see you fall when you got people who hate you or watching your you streams but you still do it and it just means the world to me I mean when I first started it's hella funny, when I first started, I would post like, we got 200 views the first day on a video. And I would be so happy, like I would post pictures of it and stuff, of 200 views on a video, and I would go crazy for it. And I would post statuses, I would have zero people, I'm laughing at this, I would have zero people like them, but I would sound like a goofball. After my first video, I made t-shirts, because I was all excited, and I thought people would want to buy a Fousey Tube t-shirt, which now thousands of people are wearing in their homes and stuff, and it's hella funny. And 
I just kept going. I mean, I remember you streaming when I swear to God, I swear to God, I had six people watching my you streams. I used to have six people watching my you streams at any given time, but I would spend hours with them, hours with them, telling them everything, <laughs> whatever it was. I would just be talking to them for hours. I used to reply to every single Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever comment and make sure I know the person. Whether the person said a negative thing or a good thing. That's the thing about me. I don't reply to haters, but I I just want I I want to be cool with everybody. So I reply to them. Not even in a mad way. It's just like let's get to know each other. Like come on, like that's just how I am. So the fact that let me check the YouTube I'm a, I'm gonna hide my face after this YouTube stream for the longest time because this is embarrassing as hell, and because it's all over YouTube. I mean, I tweeted about it earlier today. I was like, I'm the biggest nerd and geek because nobody else gets excited for this stuff, man. But this stuff means so much when you work for something this hard. There are some people who, you know, some people want stuff in life, but not everybody goes out and does it. Not everybody just goes for something and does it. Not everybody has that burning passion inside to do something. I don't do this for a hobby. I really don't. I don't do this for money like everybody used to say. I do this because moments like these, moments like these where I'm sitting on the couch by myself, nobody home at 5, 10 p.m. when I could be doing anything in the world, but I'm talking to you guys, the people who made this come true for me. And I love that. And I love every minute of that. And I wouldn't give it up for anything. I don't care what else I could be doing. I'm wearing my own sweatshirt. Like, that's the biggest loser thing to do. But I'm happy. I'm extremely happy. <laughs> this is awesome. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to cry again, but, like, happy tears this time. You can do it. I haven't even told them yet. You sh are you gonna oh tell them now? God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Here, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Should I just tell them? Yeah. Ah! Wait, your, your camera might be shaky, sorry. <laughs> ah! So excited. <laughs> Come on, tell them! I waited. Like, this is like five years in the making of, you know, everyone thinks it's like it was easier, it happened so quickly, but I worked so freaking hard for this. And I'm so freaking excited, and I don't give a shit what happens. I chose to be a theater arts major. I mean, I chose to do YouTube as a theater arts major, and against everybody's wishes and against everybody's wills, I decided to start YouTube. From, the, from scratch, from zero subscribers. Nobody knew me, nobody gave a shit about me. I invested every single second of every single day to my YouTube channel, the shit that nobody saw. I sent it to every single person on my friend's request and I am day in and out. I went out on the streets and publicized my channel to every single person I saw. I believed in it. I celebrated when I hit 100 subscribers, 200 subscribers. A thousand subscribers, ten thousand subscribers. I cried my eyes out when I hit a hundred thousand subscribers. I grinded my ass off to a million subscribers. I proved everybody wrong for two million, three million, four million, five million. How many do we have right now? Almost seven. Almost seven? Yes, sir. Bro, bro, in the car. I told you guys that something big was gonna happen at the streamies, and I knew it, and I believed in the law of attraction. Fousey2 was nominated for Prank Channel of the Year, and I was super happy and humbled by it, and I was like super proud, and I was like, whether I win or lose, you know, I'm still happy for it. We just got notified by the streamies. <laughs> do it! What are you doing? Fousey2. <laughs> is nominated for show channel of the year, the biggest award of the night. And like that is the biggest award you can get. So not only is it nominated for prank channel of the year, but Fusitu as a whole is nominated for channel of the year. And this is not about pranks no more, it's not about anything. This is about a whole, what the channel delivered, what the channel 
you know, meant, what the channel did for YouTube, and it is nominated for Channel of the Year. And I'm just, I'm, <laughs> it took five years for something like this to happen. And I always wondered why I didn't get the recognition I thought I deserved and all this stuff. And here I am, proud and humbled and delighted to announce that it has got the recognition it deserves. And it's all thanks to you guys. And no matter what happens, I will be at the streamies in a suit and I will try to win for you and Simi and Ali and Dennis and my mom and my dad and every single person who has believed and supported and Fousey too. I know I'm the most crying YouTuber out there, but I don't care. This has been my passion from the beginning. A lot of people are on YouTube for whatever reasons. I do it because I love it. I do it because I've always loved it. And I work so damn hard, whether you see it or not, on every single video. No matter who thinks my pranks are funny or not funny, this is my art, this is my passion, and thanks to you guys, I'm gonna be in the audience on VH1 running for channel of the year and it, it, this is only the beginning and I thank you guys if you guys oh i didn't even tell you guys the winners are selected by you guys so this isn't even a sure thing i don't even know i don't care if i don't win all i know is the brubras are in you know it's in your guys's hands whether we win or not and i don't doubt you guys for a second and i believe in the law of attraction and i'm like laughing we're crying and i sound like a psycho but check the description right now on how to vote every single day from now until the day of the awards 45 minutes into the show you're allowed to vote you're allowed to vote 100 times per day on twitter you're about to vote as many times as you want online check the description it's how to vote i love you guys so much reasons like this is why i will never stop making content for you guys i will never stop making you guys proud no matter how many times i fell no matter how many times i cried in my bedroom no matter what, how bad my addiction got my depression got i kept fighting and now a guy with bipolar depression and an addiction is up for channel of the year i love you guys i love you sam i love you and Yay. we did it so yeah, there's some happiness. I love you guys. Please, if you even have time to vote once, vote in the description. Five years, man. Five years.